Kia ora, welcome back. So we're just going to uh, add these sort of window elements in. Um, so let's just have a closer look. So we can see here um, we've got these window elements. Um, I've just realized I put these in the wrong place. So I'm just going to move. We actually just want that to be in the center or in that uh, to be in the center like that. So let's just put that up there so we know and we're going to do the same here uh, just the curve we'll move that up and this as well so uh, we just need to find the center of the wall along this plane and at the right height so we're going to um, let's just copy that and that uh, hold down option we can just drag both of them down Ooh. Uh, down here, Ooh. coming them up. So we just need we'll move that over a bit. That one. Oh, come on. There, move that over a bit. So we want to find that point there. So to do that, let's draw some little pictures annotate so we know point two and we know this distance so we can divide that in half to get the center that way so we know the, the interior width we can divide that by two to get the center and then we'll, uh, let's stop that And then we can just get the height. We know the height. So that should be reasonably easy. Let's come back into here. Ooh, what's going on? We don't want to print. Go away. There. Cancel. So uh, get out of that. So we're wanting to pay, take point two here and bring it across to the center and then bring it up so we've got point two here we're going to move that so move um, let's see what we need to do we need that geometry and then we've got let's just turn this one on we know we've got this plane here uh, you can tell this is on because it's a light gray compared to the dark gray so when we preview on and off um, so we know the X we want half of that so we can put in an operator maths addition division so at, and we can put a 2 after and then that'll put the divide by 2 so we know we want the X which is this one we want to divide that by 2 we want that in an X direction so we can go unit X and then put that in and we can uh, we'll start there so we can add that into there so we can see that's moved across now we need to figure out the Z direction as well let's bring this out maybe a little bit um, and so do we have that I think we do here this one because we've taken the floor thickness and we've removed it so that's actually the height we need um, so what we need to do we've got this one and this one we can add those together so shift add um, so we can take the, the x one and then add the z one from there so that z one is we've got where are we this so we've got uh, the wall height minus the wall thickness in this case uh, and then we've put the two together um, and that's each vector so we've got the X and the Y and if we feed that into the motion and we zoom go into 3d select there we can see that we've got the point up on the top there which is where we want it to be uh, so now we're going to create a different shape 
Let's just move some things around here, make it a little bit easier. So, there. And we're going to create a box. So if we go to, uh, I think it's primitive, uh, center box in this case. So this is a little bit different to what we've been doing. So that draws a box from a center point, so we can sort of see it's going around there. And the distances give give us um, sort of uh, where we want to be, or half. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. So we need to measure some things. Let's get back into here. So we need to know the thickness of that. So let's type in distance. there to there is 0.25 so let's add some things in here 0 0.25 and that can be window uh, width um, and then we also need the height of the window so let's come into here uh, distance again so I just push return or enter and I can measure that maybe hold down shift so we know it's straight uh, we've got 2.1 uh, 1 where are we wall height so let's do 2.10 uh, is fine for us and then double click on that window height um, come back in here go to perspective so we've got a lot going on at the moment but we can sort of come in here we need to now adjust this cube so we know, uh, let's see, we know we want the X, so let's put that in, see what happens. We also need the base, so we've got this point that can become our base point. So you can see there that's jumped up to that point. Now we need the Z height. Do we want X? Is that the right direction? Yeah, that's right. And then we want the Z height. Um, but what happens is it goes from the center out in both directions. So actually we want to divide the window width by 2. So we're going to do another math. So divide and put in a 2. And then so we can take that through that operator. And now we get the better thickness. Um, we don't. It doesn't matter that this sticks out because we're going to subtract it from the main volume. So, uh, and let's just put in our little annotation. Uh, so we know what we're talking about. Point eight, and then. We, we want to subtract this so we can go straight to this element here because it's already a solid so we've extruded it so we don't need to go into that one but we need to go into this one so if we come into here hold down shift let's see what happens I think that's worked uh, it looked like it so we can then uh, unable that and you can see, yes, that's worked. We've got that uh, element cut in. So let's quickly um, now do that on the other side. We'll just sort of remember what we did. So we moved 0.2 across and up, and we just stayed on that, that same element. So let's check where our points will be. So we're going to need to move 0.4 across um, and turn it into 0.9 okay so let's come down here we had 0.4 uh, oh what was that point um, 
that is 0 0.7 0 0.7 7 okay so we're wanting to move 0.4 let's just pull this down a bit okay so we're wanting to move that let's move that so that point to there and now we've got to figure out what we're doing so um, where are we so we're I haven't moved it yet so there we've got to do a negative let's put in a negative it makes life a little bit easier um, we could probably pull what we just did in a way so we had some things up here 0.8 uh, and then we had that one and that one so let's copy and paste that and bring that down because that has our Z direction already in it bring that down uh, and then we just need to come back up where we got that from so we did that and we need a negative version of that for the A part so we're going to take that and then that needs to be fed into our oh, come on let's zoom out a bit come down and that needs to be fed into the negative that we just did uh, and then that goes into A so we can bring this back up hopefully so we've got our point there we can just check and feed that back into motion and yes that's moved where we want it into that wall I'll just go back over that because there was quite a lot going on there so we just took what we'd set up uh, previously so that addition um, with the uh, x vector um, and we just turn that x vector into a negative and brought that all down here and I've got a feeling we can do something similar for this box so let's try that as well so if we uh, copy and paste that let's just bring that all the way down so actually uh, let's see what happens let's turn that back on preview so that's the one that we had there with this uh, and if we just change the base point bring this up because um, at the moment it's base point is in there we just want it on the other side so we can take that base point change it and you can see now we've got the other one all modeled and all the, the things all ready to go so let's now we've got to figure out where we put this so we want this to be a subtract from bring this down again so I'm going to take that box come up to here make sure we hold down shift because then we can add that into that subtract and hopefully we'll just come back and turn that off preview come on preview why is that not turning off there oh, it shouldn't be on am I doing ah that's the wrong one it's this box that I was trying to turn off preview there okay so this one last thing to do and that's there's a little doorway that goes in between I'm going to do that in the next video but what I did want to show um, and for me this is the value of of doing this parametrically we can now come in here and change we want it to be a bit thinner uh, we might want it to be a bit wider and you can see that's automatically updating all of those different elements um, so we can create 
different versions or variations really really quickly and I'm like oh actually I want uh, a thicker wall or a thinner wall or thicker um, I want that door seems a bit narrow so I can or make it wider so you can start to see how really uh, quickly we can modify our design um, and we'll probably need a little bit of a tidy up in here as well so we'll add the doorway um, between the two spaces in the next video and do some some tidying up